Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another brand new spanking model. This model just came out on May 7, 2015 and I purchased it on May 9, 2015 from Troy's Toys based out of Oven Park, Kansas. His website is www.troystoysinc.com uh, he still had a bunch of these available, but I don't think you want to sleep on since this is the new library. It just came out. They just they just came with this new library like the end of last year. I'll get in details in a minute with that, okay? But in the meantime, you're staring at a Gemini Jets KLM Royal Dutch Airlines 737-800 in the new 2014 new library, okay? All right, so I'm going to give you... Uh, heads up about KLM and all that stuff. I'm not going to go into too much. They already did that already. Uh, we know it's the, the oldest airline operating in existence. We speak, you no, know, 1919, October 7th. You know, they the flag carrier of the Netherlands. You know, they part of the Sky Team Alliance. So, with that said, I'm getting ready to go into the details of the box, the stand, and the gear replacements. And then we'll go from there. There's the stand that came with it. There's the gear replacements, okay. 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 Okay, that's the gear replacements, okay? Now I'm gonna show you the box. Okay. That is the new library, okay? Okay. Now I'm going to turn it around. See? Then I'm going to show you the box, okay? There it is, folks. It just came out, folks. You know, if, if you're a diehard fan of KLM like I am, you probably want to get your hands on this one. The 747, I was supposed to get that. I'm still waiting on the 747 uh, version from JC Wings. I'm still waiting on that. I already know that's going to be a runaway hit, so I'm already waiting on that one. Okay, but this will do for right now. Whoa. Okay. Okay. All right, so with that said, I'm getting ready to show y'all the model. All right. There you go, folks. That is the new KLM 737-800 new library, folks. All right. Let me give you some information about this, Eric, the library, how this came about. It came about like the end of last year, like November, December of 2014. And as from this point on, You'll see this library on all KLM's aircraft, including the new 7879s, the 7817s, and the A350s that they got coming this year, including the new 777-300s. You'll see that on there as well. Oh, Jim and I just supposed to be coming out with that one. That probably be on this uh, announcement this coming up week, okay? So I will get that one as well. But now in the meantime, I'm going to go into details here. All right, there's the gears right there, the uh, gear door and the registration and partial registration number. And then you see the uh, Air France and KLM um, alliance. They aligned with each other uh, in 2003, but they still operated they, as a separate entities. But um, that's said, And then you see the Sky Team logo right there. Sky Team logo right there. Then you also see the Sky Team logo on this side of the door as well. And then, you see, then you see the nice little blue stripe, you know, like the curve, the curve stripe, pretty cool there. Then you see the KLM Royal Dutch Airlines title, alright. That's a long name, I, don't, I know what it stands for, but it's too long to pronounce here. And then there you see the, uh, the landing lights on the wings here. And then you see the KLM uh, logo on the, uh, the engine as well. Sad to tell you folks, the engines the, the engines here do not spin, so I'm not going to go into details with those. And then you see the uh, the red navigation light, 
And then you see the KLM logo on the winglet as well. Pretty cool. And then you see the registration number PH-BXZ. PH-BXZ. And then you see the Netherlands flag right there. This is the national carrier. And then you see the European flag. European Union flag, all right? Then you see the Flying Dutchman right there, okay? Then you see Boeing 737-800. Then you see the KLM logo on the tail, all right? So, I'm going to turn this around a little bit. Okay, you see the APU right there. APU right there, pretty cool. See the KLM logo on the tail on this side as well. You see the 737. See the 737 logo right there. I'm gonna bring this up a little closer, man. Okay, see the Flying Dutchman above the rear bulk bend door right there boom see the European Union flag and the Netherlands flag and then the registration number there then you see the wing walkway right there folks then you see the KLM logo on this side as well then you see the green navigation light right there then you see the KLM um, logo on the winglet as well then you see the title on here the KLM KLM Royal Dutch Airlines title here. They changed that name, so it's just got across there. Pretty cool. Then you see the front cargo bulk bin door there. And then you see the Sky Team uh, logo right here. And then the Air France KLM Alliance uh, title there. Alright, then you see the uh, red partial registration number. I need the gears there. All right. And then you see the red the windshield wipers and the cockpit window on this side. XZ pretty cool. It's even shiny too. Mm -hmm. Then you see right there the gear lights right there. Right there, the gear lights. All oh, pretty impressive. All right. And then I'm going to turn this around again. Okay. Now I'm getting ready to give you the rundown of the classes, okay? All right. It's a... This seats 164 passengers in a three class configuration. Okay. 20 Europe business class seats. My guess is go from here to about right here. Right there is all Europe business class. And then from here, right there, and then certain extra, uh, section of this section up here is 24 economy comfort seats. And then from here all the way back is 120 economy seats okay this library here they came with it this library they came with the library around about the end of 2014 I tried looking it up it's somewhere about November December and it's finally revealed in like in January 2015 so this is a pretty good library I kind of like the little curve there and everything there right there okay I'm sure the top of it okay see the little pearl beacon light the uh, anti-collision light then you see the antenna another antenna there then you see the uh, KLM logo there now I'm going to show you the bottom of the fuselage okay there's the gears right there there's the gears right there, the hole where the stand goes in, the retractable uh, gears. Then the red beacon light underneath there, the antenna there, boom, boom, boom. And then you see the registration number there. 
nothing there and now I'm gonna show you the top of the aircraft okay okay you see the wing walkway on the left and the right all right then you see the KLM uh, logo on the wing at this side as well show you on this side as well on this side as well okay all right so I'm gonna put it on the stand okay so all right hold on okay I got it on the stand there you go folks there you go There you go. So, now I'm going to take it off the stand. Okay, I took it off the stand. I'm not going to take the gears off, but these are the gear replacements right here, folks. That's where they come into play and all that stuff. So, there you have it right there, folks. Well, this is all I have for this model right here. It just came out, folks. Now you can get your hands on it. It is available, and I got a feeling this is going to sell out pretty quick, like the last previous 737 KLM. It sold out. That's because I wasn't collecting them at the time, but now I, I got this one. I'm getting everything with KLM on it. This is highly recommended. I definitely highly recommend this model. So in the meantime, take care. God bless. Please rate and subscribe and leave me your comments. Next up, I'm going to line the, the KLM that you see there in the retro, and then you can give me your opinion rejection, which one you prefer to have, okay? So in the meantime, take care. God bless.